My name is Bonnie Fastring, and I'm, I'm at 2128 Felicity. I'm a school teacher in the city, and, and kids are what I, what I love. I, I came to Central City here uh, to work with kids about 2003 and, and, and did something with them at Cafe Reconcile. I went there with my, my daughter because Cafe Reconcile used to do a kids program on Saturday nights where you came in and the kids in the community welcomed you and sat down at the table with you and did conversation with you. And uh, she and I did that and then I would have driven off but she said, Mom, uh, these kids don't have anybody to go home with them and I'm gonna walk home with them. So she walked home with them and I followed her in the car. And then I began to come back here and to work in, in camps in this area with the Berean Church. The kids go to about 11 different schools in this area, so they're coming from all kind of different schools back to here, but there's no central school in the, in the central city area that allows them to be neighborhood, and in a way Berean allows them to be neighborhood by us doing this. We started that flower garden, and a little boy he lived right over there, and he was the one that helped to build, to shovel out the bricks underneath that and plant that tree, and he still comes to visit it. In fact, he came to a program about a year after that, and he read, I, I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree by Rudyard Kipling, and it was strange seeing a little boy from Central City saying that poem. <laughs> These kids didn't want us to do the garden at first. They wanted to play football right here, and I do feel somewhat guilty using their football field for a garden, although they've all planted flowers in it now, and they're all happy about it, and they watch them and take care of them and don't let anybody else get to them, but, but it's true. They still don't have a place to play football. They need a playground. The kids in Central City are regular kids and, and normal kids, and even though they have a lot of difficulty with some have had their fathers have shot themselves in the last year, and some have had uh, been shot themselves, and uh, uh, so many difficult things. They still, they still love the things that all kids love, and uh, and it's such a mixture of, of uh, life and death for them that it, it's. I'm really glad that I can, I can work with them. It is a real pleasure to have the kids on the streets here uh, call out my name and, and yell to me and say, they all call me Miss Bonnie. And when I go to the Berean building, uh, there's 130 TCA kids in there, little three and four year olds, and they all call out to me because I, I do storytelling with them. I'm really connected to the kids in this community more than anything else.